But welcome back to Riverbend Springs. We got our new tractor, our 7R. We're gonna get some feed for the chickens because they are running a little bit low before we... Oh, I guess I should have used barley. I got a nice comment saying that barley is worthless, so we should be f feeding them the crop that is worth less money. Let's double check that. Yeah, this peaks at 1100 and the wheat peaks at 1200 So yeah, I guess there could be an argument there, $100 per thousand liters. Let's go ahead and dump this and we will fill up with barley instead. But I guess let's look at the productions too. The grain mill could use the wheat. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab some barley here. We're going to feed the chickens what we can with it. The rest we'll put back into the grain mill. We need to get that back up and running. And then we'll come back and get the wheat and send that over there. We should still have some barley for the chicken feed. So this won't completely run us dry until this crop is ready in summer. I think we'll be okay. We got some plans today, though, to talk about after we get all this stuff done. We're going to do some major expanding. We missed. There we go. Go ahead and get them filled up with the barley. Little chicken coop. Just a little bit there. And then the rest of this is almost a year's worth of production. It'll be about six months worth of production. So this should definitely get us to the next harvest. Make sure it is activated still. Barley is not, or oh, it is activated. There's a little bit left in there. Oats are done, so let's deactivate that. I do not believe we have any more oats, but the little bit of wheat I think will be worth bringing over here as well. Yeah, we'll keep the 2000 barley for more feed. That'll be plenty for the little amount of chickens we have, but this 3000 will definitely help us turn into, you know, a little bit more money than it would be if it was just wheat. And as the wheat goes in there, let's go ahead and make sure it is active again. And we're getting flour. What do we have at the sawmill? Yeah, let's um, let's go over here and see if there's something. Let's find the closest tree. We might as well do that. I guess it's going to be this big boy here. Wow, big tree. Amazed that our our chainsaw can actually get through it. And now that I think about it, let's, let's not. Yeah, this should be fine tipping it that way. A box elder. Boy. Takes a while to cut through these big boys. Wow. At least it works. Try to get the branches off here as much as I can. Still getting used to these new mechanics. I believe it's one of these, but it's just strange where you have to put the chainsaw to get these to work sometimes. But we'll start breaking this down into smaller pieces that we'll take over to the sawmill. What are we doing here? Okay, I guess that's not gonna... Some things about this game confused me a lot. What's it doing? Like, it's gonna... <laughs> that was strange, strange, strange. Lots of tiny spots or tiny pieces so I can carry them. This is what I'm doing. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know, it's starting to get to the point on this farm where we just feel like we have work all the time and we will be doing hay next time. Next time we cut the grass, we're not gonna be able to do silage because we have plans that we're gonna talk about momentarily. But I wanna get some feed over here for our three cattle. Still haven't grown over here, kinda crazy. But I think we're gonna transition to a different phase of the Riverbend Springs playthrough. I'm really getting addicted to wanting to finish the community projects on here. And the rope is the next thing we're gonna want. So we're gonna take a decent loan out and we're gonna get sheep today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop into the finance tab and we're gonna start with a $100,000 loan and see how far that gets me in this process. So hopping over to the grass field is where I want the sheep to go. And I'm kind of thinking, let's look at the terrain here. Yeah, I think over here might be the best place for it. So let's go ahead and go to animals and sheep. I kind of wanted to go with the big boy but that would maximize our money or really eat through all of it. That would give us 68 sheep long-term. And I, this is the long-term play that I do want to do on this playthrough. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we can customize it for the amount that, okay. So maybe we didn't need to spend that much on the, let's uh, see if we can undo that and get all our money back. Yeah. Okay, so is the starting amount of this one going to be 26 and we can customize it? But let's do it right here. We don't want to lose... Uh, I don't want to lose too much. I don't want to lose too much of our grass. Let's go ahead and come out this way. This is kind of sweet that we can just customize these. And we're going to go there, here, 
And I think we'll just like come across. I want to turn this way. Um, be interesting. We could always edit this later on. But that's that's kind of terrible. That's kind of terrible. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right, let's learn a little bit about it, though. We're going to take the 7R over there. And there's definitely something that will look better in the spring when the meadow changes. But let's learn. We have a 45 capacity now. So we could make it bigger later on. And I'm kind of wondering if I could just sneak the fence. I'm going to try to adjust it. I don't know what the process is for that. Let's see. Because I think these are supposed to be dynamic and we can change them later on, right? Let's find out. Demolish mode, maybe? Do that. Now we have this opening that I messed up. All right, so 45 could still fit in here, but we got rid of the fence. Uh, I kind of want to see what just happens with that, guys. We're going to run with that. Okay, let's go ahead and buy a few of these. We do want to go with sheep. I don't want to go with goats. Uh, we might do that later on, but I'm going to grab... Let's do five of each. Go ahead and buy that. Down here, we'll buy five. Five of the black brown and five of the black Welsh. And that should give us 20 to start with. We have no food, so we'll have to move some over here. Let's go ahead and we'll drive back with this, but we'll have to grab the other John Deere to bring the food over. And I'm not going to do it yet, but we do have the lease, the production lease mod installed. So at some point we are going to be le oops, leasing the rope production, but long term our play is going to be clothing and maybe just fabric because fabric seems to be a pretty big profitable um, crop or a production and potentially getting into cotton as well on this playthrough is the decision that I have made. Um, I guess we can do one at a time. I guess the, the best thing would have probably been getting the trailer over here and loading some of these up, but... Let's go ahead and see what this does to the capacity. That's given one, but having 20 sheep over there, this is a bigger play. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pay attention to the feed and make sure we're making hay often enough for the sheep. And I might change this up to where that little area matches as is just meadow. We'll see. But let's go ahead and drop that. We can, if we can. What's happening? There we go. And the capacity wise, that was exactly what it will hold. Interesting. A total capacity. Oh, grass capacity is full. So it took the hay and used it as grass. That's interesting. We're going to grab one more and put it over there. I, like, I'm a little worried that they're going to go through more food a month than the barn can hold. Uh, and we might run out of hay pretty quick. Even though it says grass over there, it looks like it is taking both. And we'll leave that there to just feed them later on. But that's all we need to do in January. So they got food. Let's head home. Let's make it February and see what happens. But we're gonna check the water on the greenhouse before we do that. It's looking low. Okay, grab the white, get some water, and get the greenhouse all set. And then we'll make it February. Now, I might be understanding that wrong. They might not be dynamic as much as they are customizable. And so I, I just don't know. I was wanting to change that because I didn't like the layout, but I kind of like the way it looks without the fences. They're like free roaming. We'll see how it looks in the spring. It looks terrible right now. It might be time to upgrade this too. But another 2,000 will be plenty to get us through another month of making lettuce. Let's go make it February. A little bit of snow coming down here in February. We're going to go check on the sheep, see how they're looking food-wise. Nothing else really to do on the farm. We'll double check that the fields don't need to be taken care of. But look at the snow on the barn. Nice touch. Or is it just white? It's just white. And they've dipped into this a little bit. Not too bad. Bad. Okay. Got the heat lamps going for him. And this should automatically add water, right? Yes. Okay. So wool, we have 250 going. Once we get a decent amount of that, we will lease that production. But I don't want to start eating into the leasing costs until we can actually produce some goods. So let's see what we have going here. Weeds was the one thing I wanted to double check on, and we're good with that. And then the other type we we're going to do was sorghum. So if we look at the calendar, I believe we need to get to April. Got to get to April before that can happen. We have a little mixture of rain and snow going on. That's what it seems like. Some sleep. But let's check all of the productions and see if they're good. Good here. 
Sawmill has plenty of capacity. We'll let that build up a little bit before we sell it. Water should be good one more month there, animal-wise. The cows might be going away. They might be going away. They are good water-wise and food-wise, as well as the chickens. Yeah, this different color is going to drive me nuts. So I don't know if with it being open, if we can replant here, if it'll let us. But it is nice seeing them without a fence. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, is it March we can plant? Is that, is that what we just said? It's April. It's April. So we are going to make it April. We're going to get to planting that and also cutting the grass on this field and get to the farm work of this episode finally. But I do want to get a little bit more water going for the greenhouse and probably that's it. Uh, I just hopped into a <laughs> dialogue with Walter right here. That's interesting. Trying to get water. There we go. And that should be good. Let's double check the cows. Water is good and the chickens are good. All right, we can officially make it April. Start getting to planting and cutting some grass. Exciting times, get another year rolling. All right, we got some rain going. Let's look at the forecast here. It should clear up very soon. Looks like July, we're expecting a tornado, but let's go ahead and look at planters. We do know we have, well, let's, let's double check. We should have in our vehicles, go here find the 7r just to remind ourselves the 7r is 305 horsepower so when we go into the store now we know that's as far as we can go with the planters we could go with this one it's pretty good size and i think that's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and lease that it'll be 4500 dollars. we'll get in oh no there's snow why is there snow <laughs> Okay, we might be skipping time and reloading in the game because uh, it seems like when you skip time really fast like that, you get the stuff in the wrong month. So we'll go pick it up. We're going to let a little bit of time pass and see if it takes care of itself. But boy, it looks great. It looks like a... I don't know. You got the green coming through with the snow. It's like we got a late a early spring snowstorm. It's possible. It happens. All right, get this picked up here. Oh, we missed. Now this can do the fertilizer as well, but we do not need to do another application of fertilizer. So we'll just get some seed we have at the, at the farm. We'll get it added to this and back over to the field. And we'll see about getting this snow to clear up at that point. And it holds 660 liters of seed. Let's head on over to field eight, get this all prepped. And then I think we'll try power tools to see if we can remove the snow. But if that doesn't work, we will Try to reload into the game. I think that'll do the trick. And here we are at field eight. Oh, I guess we have it backwards, but that's okay. Connect like that now that we want to start planting. All right, let's see. Is there an option for weather in here? Doesn't look like it. So we'll save, see if uh, reloading takes care of the problem. And while we're doing that, we might as well hop in here and show you all the mods that we're using right now. The only thing that I believe is in here that is not Anywhere that you guys can pull in is the real speed limit. I converted that myself. We won't be sharing that because I'm not the creator of the mod. So, but that's a look at the mods we are using at this point. The one that we added recently is the production point leasing that is in Mod Hub. And the snow is still here. That's unfortunate. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Whew. Scared me a little bit. All right, our first time using a planter, and this field confuses me a little bit. I am gonna, oh, we have to unfold it. I thought it was already unfolded. But we'll go ahead and turn on these lines for me. And is it going in? Doesn't look too different. Like we look here, come over here. Says it's in there, but man, not much of a difference in the texture. Oh, I guess there is, okay. But nice, this is our first job with the 7R. I got some equipment in mind that we're gonna be upgrading to. We just gotta be patient financially, and I think our move with the sheep's really gonna help us out. After we get this planted, we'll probably get a worker on doing the weeds for us while we cut the grass to get some more grass for the sheep. And what will be nice about that is we can just keep, keep them as grass bales and turn them, turn them into silage as needed. Like as we realize we have extra capacity of bales. So we might just do one entire run here of grass. I'm probably going to look into our options for sheds. Cause I want to have somewhere to store the bales that are easy for me to access. It's not a barn. Like I, I, I've kind of documented that I'm not a big fan of the barn. I like bigger openings cause I'm not the most skilled driver, but enough rambling. Let's get this planted.
And the headland's done, going real smooth. Only used 6% of the seed, so we should be good for the entire field now. Go ahead and lower that and go start doing these ups and downs. Making a great time. This is just awesome having the 7R. Bigger implements, be able to get jobs done a lot quicker, really speed up our progress in this playthrough. Man, it felt super fast planning with this equipment. We've turned a page in this playthrough. I really feel like it. I don't feel like that loan's really gonna hurt us much. We'll be able to get through that in no time. But we got sorghum in the ground, 100% fertilized already, and we're good. Go ahead and lift that. We will fold it. We're gonna return it after unloading the seed. I think, is it gonna fit through here? Or am I gonna have to adjust? Hmm. 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 We'll get the seed later. Yeah, that looks better now that the the sheep are gone. The sheep are gone. <laughs> um. Oh no. Um. Did they get out? They're gone. They're. <laughs> okay. This is good though. Good amount of good amount of wool getting produced. Um, we're gonna shut this off for a second because okay, this is like a disaster. I think in between episodes, I might place that back down and fix the money and everything. Um, interesting. I don't know if it was intended for me to be able to delete the fences like that, and I think that might have caused the the problem. But you know, still early game. Early game bugs. Where is the weeder? That's not it. Where the heck is it? Oh, I know where it is. I know where we left it by the other field. All right, so they're on the field. Let's go ahead and get them going with a worker. And then we will switch over to our newly ruined field here. Gosh, that's hilarious. I guess I did something unintended and caused, caused the problem, I assume. Well, we haven't done this mowing in a while ourselves, so it'll be nice to do it here with the 7R. Super powerful, it just feels great. So we'll bail this up as grass, and then we will probably put a little bit aside for silage just to keep money coming in. And then later on, yeah, we'll have enough grass. We should be fine for the sheep that have ran away. Did we not start the worker? We did, the money's just not going down very fast. Interesting, interesting. It's not going down at all, actually. But we're doing a terrible job cutting this without guided steering. It's, uh, it's, it's been an adventure. And we're all done with the grass session here, or the mowing part of it. Lift it all, go ahead and get these folded. And it's, you know, about time to build something over here to store these. I am going to just put this right here. It should be out of the way. And then we can put right next to it the back mower. Just want to make sure it's not near the zone, the spawning zone of the pallets. Of course, this is a area we could have cut for extra, but we didn't. So that's still going good. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll grab the, the rake here with the 7R. And now I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if we do a course here. It is going to avoid but it's really awkward. We're just gonna do it ourselves. So let's get that shit off. So that's the that's the one bad thing about some of this is the way those courses get designed when we have fields like this, but shouldn't be too often where we have 
janky fields. Okay, probably the worst raking job I've ever done, but if I just finally notice that the money doesn't go down until it just pays them on the hour on the workers, that's hilarious if that's what's happening. I mean, it makes sense. It's a nice update, but I didn't know. All right, all raked. Time to just get the baler and drive in a bunch of circles and pick up all of these swaths of grass and we have it set to 150 so that is the correct size if we do decide to wrap some of these later on go ahead and start where we did there's a little area we just did not do a good job picking up or raking but that'll be okay let's go ahead and get the yeah the speed override shut off for this but yeah those are filling up real fast let's stop before that gets done oh, i want to hit alt x the counter restarted so we know how many bales we generated on our new field, and away we go. So it doesn't appear that we've lost much of the grass by making this change, because this is already working on our 23rd bale, which is what we were getting before. So I'm a little confused. I don't know if the grass was a little thicker this time or what was happening there, but that's going to do it for the baling session. Nice overcast day, too. Go ahead and shut that off. Unload unfinished bale is O. We'll get that one out there. And we'll put the baler over here. We're, we're gonna, in between episodes, I am going to play around with this situation that we've created and figure out what caused them to disappear. If this is a bug, if I broke it by deleting the fence. And I'll watch some other videos too, so I can get up to speed with the way these new animal enclosure enclosures work. But, we do have 20 sheep somewhere wandering around the map and some food for them already and plenty out there that will get picked up and moved around. We'll probably get a shed going here. We got a lot of things on my mind, but I'm going to end the episode now and I'll catch you on the next one.